Mark and Trina Hankins invite you to a Holy Ghost meeting, April 23rd through the 25th in Alexandria, Louisiana. There are certain gifts and callings that aren't activated until you are saturated with the Holy Spirit. You won't want to miss this event with powerful praise and worship, teaching in the morning services on the person and work of the Holy Spirit, and Holy Spirit demonstration in the evening services. Join us April 23rd through the 25th. For more information and to register, visit markhankins.org. It's now time for Mark Hankins. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. When the Holy Ghost starts working, moving, you yield to Him. Amen. He's going to tell you in the time of challenge, count it all joy. One joy, smile. Two joys, start laughing. Three joys, start shouting. Come on. Four joys. So I thought, you know, I thought I want to I wanna write another book and title it. I'm going to get that picture from Pastor George. But I, I'm going to... I'm going to write another book. I'm going to title it, While I Was Laughing. Yeah. While I was praising, while I was shouting, while I was rejoicing, while I was running, while I was dancing, come on, while I was celebrating, while I was doing that, some serious business happened, while I was rejoicing. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. So here's, here's how those 15 years of meetings, Dad Hagen would, the anointing of the Holy Ghost would come. And then uh, he laid hands on a bunch of us preachers uh, in St. Louis. And he said, I want you to carry that. So I'm carrying I want you to carry that. Come on, we put the word first. We need the word, need teaching on the word, but to carry the anointing and the fire. Amen. Come on, you cannot get on fire and act normal, I can tell you that. In other words, the fire of the Holy Ghost. I said the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come on, the psalmist David said, the Lord will light my candle. Then I can run through a troop and leap over a wall, chase my enemies down. Once I get lit. How many of y'all like to get lit yeah, this morning? Yeah. I like to get lit. Get lit today. <laughs> Hallelujah. So Dad Hagen, when that anointing would come, and it's measurable, he said, whenever it's in 100% manifestation, then I won't even have to touch you. He said, you'll just receive that anointing, mix faith with it. It's the anointing that does the work. Amen. So he said, in this particular move of the Holy Ghost, joy in the Holy Ghost, this particular move, he said, when that, when, when that anointing starts working in you, he said, sometimes I just get close to you, he, but sometimes he would tap you on the head. Not too hard, but just kind of a little pop hit you on the head. Now, most of the time, he'd just tap you on the head. If you receive that anointing, and then he would say something, most of the time he would say, be blessed. That's about it most of the time. Just say, be blessed. So I got to where I'd, I'd sit up front, find me a spot. I, I'd say, hit me, baby, one more time. And I, was, I wanted him like to tap me, yes. tap me on the head. Yes. And then every time I'd go home after those Holy Ghost meetings, the blessing of the Lord would increase and multiply. Now, I know we're already blessed, but apparently there must be more available. 
<laughs> and so through the laying on the hands, in most cases, he'd just tap you on the head. And he said, in this kind of Holy Ghost meeting, he said, joy in the Holy Ghost. He said, the first thing that'll happen is you'll start laughing. You'll just start laughing. Now, I know most people think that's not spiritual. But the Bible says God sits in the heavens and he laughs. You'll have a hard time being more spiritual than God. In his presence is what? Fullness of joy. Yeah. In his presence, fullness of joy. You get full of joy. And if God's laughing, you, even if you don't understand the joke, you just laugh just out of respect. God's going, oh. Come on, you may be facing a great challenge and you get in his presence. God goes, oh. If you knew what he was laughing about. That means he's already got a plan. He's already working on it. Hallelujah. He's just going, oh. Just practice for a minute and go, ha, ha, ha. Just come on, laughing runs in my family. My father got laughed. Come on, I said he laughs. He's full of joy in his presence is joy. Ha, ha, ha. And the Holy Ghost will have you laughing at the most unusual time. You'll even try to tell him this is not a good time. wonder what he's trying to do. Maybe he's wanting us to turn our joy up. <laughs> so Dad Hagen said, you'll start laughing. He said, our, he said, the anointing will get so strong, some people won't even be able to stand up or even sit up. We used to have whole rows just fall out. Whole sections fall out. I know Dad Hagen went to heaven, but the Holy Ghost is still here, I'm telling you. The same anointing is still here. Come on, the Holy Ghost is still here. So he said, either that, he said, or you start rejoicing. He said, some people will start dancing. He said, there's a blessing you receive when you dance. Now, we don't have no classes on this. So you just have to do it the best that you can. But apparently it's not a pretty thing because when David danced, his wife said, you look ugly, you look like a fool. Some people would receive more miracles if they just didn't have to be pretty all the time. But when David danced, he said, no. His wife said, you look like a fool. David said, I shall yet be more vile than this. <laughs> you got to love a man that can talk back to his wife, at least every <laughs> once in a while. I mean, he could have ruined it for all men if he would have said, I'm sorry, honey, I'll never do it again. <laughs> and then he explained to her why he was dancing. He said, really, it was before the Lord. Come on, sometimes you ought to just rejoice before the Lord. Come on. He said, it was before the Lord. He said, because it was not your daddy, it was not your money, it was not my education that brought me out of the sheepfold. It was the Lord that brought me out. It was the Lord that made me king. It was the Lord that made that dream come to pass. It was, it was the Lord that did that. I had to dance before the Lord. <laughs> Woo! Glory, I had to dance before the Lord. Ha, ha, ha. You know, you get happy and the devil will pack up his stuff and get out of the house. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. 
So uh, I've told you this story before, but, but we had been praying for property and, you know, for, for years for property for the ministry office. And anyway, the Lord ended up giving us the most beautiful piece of property and best piece of property on the whole highway, most beautiful, just amazing story. And when we got the property, when I walked on the property, it was like a dream. When we got the property, I was on the property and the Lord said, all those times you were laughing. Talking about Brother Hagin's Holy Ghost meeting. All those times you were laughing. All those times you were rejoicing. He said, you really were laughing about something. about something. <laughs> Come on. While I was rejoicing, while I was laughing, while I was praising the Lord, <laughs> was turning my captivity. Sit back down just for a minute. I'm just about finished. While I was laughing, while I was rejoicing. So I have a friend, you know, and he saw in a Holy Ghost church, you know, this lady was dancing. And he said, Lord, I wish you'd give me a dance like that. Her face, you know, the glory and joy. That's just beautiful. Lord, I wish you'd give me a dance like that. He said, the Lord said to him, son, a dance ain't something I give you. It's something you give me. So if some of y'all are waiting, I said, if some of y'all are waiting, wonder when the Lord's going to give me a happy dance and a shout, come on and a run. Wonder when the Lord's going to do that for me. Whenever you decide, my God is able to do exceeding Again. 
Come on, something's turning here right now this morning. I said things are turning here right now this morning. It's turning again for the dream to come to pass, for your destiny, for the will of God for your life, for the blessing of God for your life. He turned my captivity. He turned it again. I said he turned it again. And he filled my mouth with laughter like a dream. Sit back down, just a minute, just a minute, I'm about finished. Ha, ha, ha. Some of y'all need to practice laughing a while. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. Ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, laugh in the face of the enemy. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Don't make me come back there. You know I will come back there. Don't make me come back there. Come on, one touch of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I said, one touch of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Woo! Changes everything. One touch of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hey, glory God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all. More than we can ask or think that his power that works on the inside. you, but I'm turning my joy up, turning my joy up. Listen, here's what the Lord said to me at one of those meetings. He said, while you are rejoicing here, I'm doing something back at your house. He said, while you're rejoicing here, Yeah. 
Sit back down, sit back down. The Lord turned my mourning into dancing. He turned my sorrow into joy. The Lord turned my captivity. Turned it, he turned it while you're praising, while you're rejoicing. God's doing something in your future while you're praising. God's doing something in your spirit. Come on, there is no limit to God's giving except our capacity to receive. While you're praising, come on, you're opening up your capacity to receive from God. Is my capacity. Glory to God. He increases my capacity to receive. Glory to God. You're watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. Do you want to know how to have victory in every area of your life? Do you want to learn how to rejoice no matter the circumstances you are going through? The Lord spoke these words to Pastor Mark Hankins. If you only knew what happens in the spirit when you rejoice, you would rejoice every day. In The Secret Power of Joy, Mark and Trennis shows believers how to bring the heavenly atmosphere of joy into the reality of their daily lives you will see the relationship between the blood of Jesus and joy in the Holy Spirit. You also get as a bonus the four CD set, Faith Laughs at Impossibilities. In these messages, you will learn, I Love to Laugh, Faith Laughs at Impossibilities, The Shout of Joy, and Supernatural Joy. Joy is the bridge between believing and receiving. Be the one who is quick to believe him and respond to the prompting of the Holy Spirit and rejoice. Watch God turn your life around. Your gift of any amount will help Mark and Trina Hankins train believers around the world. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and be strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. When you sow into someone's need, your needs are met. When you sow into someone's dream, your dreams will come to pass. For your gift of any amount, you will receive the Secret Power of Joy book and the 4CD set, Faith Laughs at Impossibilities. Please call 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you so much for tuning in today and listening to our message on joy, the secret power of joy. Do you know that if you have joy, you have strength. If you start to get sad and down and depressed and discouraged, you will lose your strength. But if you can stay in joy and determine to keep your joy, no matter what you're facing, you can be strong. And when you are strong, you can keep going and see the end of your faith. I encourage you today to get my dad's book, The Secret Power of joy. It teaches you how to use joy as a tool in your faith. So you can go to markhankins.org or call the number on the screen. Get this book. It will be a helper of your joy. Until next time, I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. Have a great day. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Mark and Trina have taken the gospel of Christ and the word of faith to many nations for over 50 years with this mandate. Their desire is to train and equip believers in the U.S. and around the world with the In Christ message, the spirit of faith, and the move of the Holy Spirit. They do this primarily at leadership conferences, church services, and Bible school. 
When leaders are impacted, they are able to take the same message and anointing back to their churches and ministries in remote areas. Many of these countries they have gone to multiple times and continue to build on the work they are doing. Because of this, another major part of the ministry is the translation and distribution of our books. Dad Hagen said, the greatest distribution of the gospel in the end times will be the printed page. The amazing thing is our books go places we may never go and reach people that we may never know. Right now, we have over 40 books that have been translated in many different languages. We are believing for our books to be translated into 100 different languages. Another major assignment of Mark Hankins Ministries is our daily television program. The television program has expanded the reach of the word tremendously. Every day, we are able to come into people's homes and teach the word to people of all ages, denominations, and walks of life. We are amazed at the testimonies we receive from people who watch the television program and have been healed, set free, and set on fire with the Word. The influence of the television program continues to grow, and the program now has the potential to reach over 80 million homes with the life-changing Word of God. We recently completed the construction of our new conference center at our ministry headquarters. We like to see this facility as a distribution center for the gospel. We host many multiple day conferences every year and it houses our new television studio. The studio allows us to pipe out the word to more people than ever before. Now is not the time to slow down, but we believe there is an acceleration of the assignment to reach more people, more languages, and more nations with the gospel of Jesus. We want to thank our faithful World Missions partners. Your gifts, large and small, all join together and make a huge impact for the Kingdom of God, not only here in the U.S., but also around the world. If you could see all the faces of people reached and how their lives are transformed, you would see how their spirits are encouraged and set on fire. Each individual represents a unique story of redemption and restoration in the Lord Jesus Christ a testament to the unfailing love of our Heavenly Father. Together, let us continue to use every avenue possible to take the life-changing gospel and word of faith to as many people and to as many nations. Remember, together we can, together we will. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries' Faith for Every Nation. 